RT is sitting down with James David Manning, a New York reverend who has become a source of extreme controversy here in the United States. Sir, thank you very much for sitting down with us today. Thank you very much for having me. You're a, a pastor at a Harlem church who has become extremely popular, especially over the internet, for hatred-filled sermons. How do you explain that? The sermons are not hate-filled. I uh, think that's a misunderstanding of what we're trying to express. The truth probably sounds like hate. So it's not hate-filled. Trust me, it is not hate-filled. That's just a label. In your sermons, you have used the N-word referring to Barack Obama. Right. Why would you do that? You don't find these kinds of statements offensive not only to him, but generally to the African-American community? Well, first of all, I'm not the first person to say it. Kanye West and P. Diddy and Snoop Doggy and all the others, they use these words routinely, and the black population put billions of dollars into their checking accounts <clears throat> and into the music industry's checking accounts also with the same words. So why pick on a little old preacher from Harlem who uses something that has been been lifted up by the world for years to get people excited. Why would you be sending these kinds of messages as a pastor? Well, what kind of message should I send? Of hope. Yeah, we got hope. Hope we can get rid of Obama. We're getting hope, no doubt about it. And people need to stop trying to tell me how to preach the Bible. They need to read it and they'll discover it's full of war. It's full of blood. It's full of sword. It's full of even Jesus himself called the religious leaders of, him, of his day a bunch of snakes, a bunch of vipers, which is what Obama is as well. He's not a U.S. citizen and he is hiding uh, his background, he's hiding his college transcripts from Columbia University, his birth certificate that's allegedly vaulted in Honolulu, Hawaii. We really don't know who he is. The other thing is that he is, um, he has really robbed and stolen from the African American people the opportunity to have the first black president because he isn't in, in, in that at all. Uh, he has used racism very effectively uh, to garner his way into the office of president. Beyond that, I think he has misled the black people, and so uh, for those reasons, I'm against him. Well, the African American community seems to really be putting a lot of hope in him, as well as uh, you know the rest of the United States. Why do you feel that he isn't really representing that hope for them? Well, first of all, you may have noticed that he hasn't paid very much attention to the black community since his inauguration. He has not become what black people thought he would be in a black president. Now, surely, black people understand that he was not going to have just black policies completely for black people as a black president, but he's paid no attention whatsoever to black people. Um, I think the other thing is, is that... Uh, spiritually, Obama represents a biblical prophecy by the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the other reason why the church ought to be up in arms uh, about him uh, as one who is a false messiah. It prophesied many years ago that one would come who would mesmerize the world with his charism, with his wonderful and flowing words, and all of the world would be bowing down to him. Uh, this person would be fueled by the energy and the spirit of Satan himself. I mean, when you see Obama and uh, you compare him to Hitler and the kind of energy and the kind of world approval that Obama has, he fits the prophetic bill that Jesus prophesied some years ago of the person that would come that's absolutely evil. That's why I preach against him. A lot of Americans do seem to be rather happy with him right now. White Americans are expressing a form of racism, perhaps. A number of white folk feel that somehow or another they are still responsible for slavery. And they thought that by voting for Obama, especially since he wasn't the Al Sharpton type, the kind that attacks all white America, and white America felt very comfortable with him in their living rooms. He was black, so it gave them an opportunity to do something about their deep emotional commitment to slavery. And that's why they voted for him. White people did. It was racism, really. Every, the whole world focused on the fact that he's a black man. That, so that's racism. So that's you, race. So, so when you single me out and say, I'm focusing on white people's racism, it was white folk that said, but he's a black man. Well, it's the 21st century. Does race even matter? Don't ask me, ask the millions of white people who voted for him because he was an intelligent, well-spoken, Harvard educated, law president of law review uh, at Harvard, black man. Don't ask me that question. Ask the racist white people that voted for him. So you're saying all of the white people who voted for Barack Obama are racist? Absolutely. No doubt about it. Okay, let's step away from the issues of race for a second. Do you have a sign outside your door? Uh, 
at the entrance into the church that says, Mr. Obama, show us your birth certificate. Yes. Why? Because he doesn't have one that demonstrates he's a U.S. citizen, that constitutionally he's ineligible to serve as U.S. president, according to, Const to the U.S. Constitution, Section 2, Article A. He doesn't have a birth certificate. If he did, he'd show it. Wouldn't have people like me in Harlem asking him and daring him to show it, and he has nothing to produce. Do you know a lot of people who are as unhappy with him and critical of him as much as you are? Millions. Uh, who feel that this nation is being stolen from them, that they're being trampled on. And they, these people are ticked off at that. You say millions are unhappy with him. How do you explain the Obama fascination? So many people seem to be very enticed with him and very happy that he became president. One word, racism. Racism. When white people during the primary and during the general election stated that they were not going to vote for Obama because they thought he was the abortion king, that he was a socialist, that he was a Muslim, and all those things that were talked about during the campaign, immediately the white person who said they were not going to vote for Obama were called a racist. And people say, I'm not racist. I don't mind. I'll vote for Colin Powell or I'll vote for Alan Keyes or Condoleezza Rice. I'm not a racist. They said, no, you're racist because you don't want to vote for Obama. You're, 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 he's black man. And you don't want to vote. White people were charged with racism who were not racist. He's only, people are only saying yes because they are, they've got so much invested in them. And trust me, when it is proven that Obama is a usurper, that he's not constitutionally eligible to serve as president, and it's revealed that he is, he's destroyed this nation, people like myself are going to jump all over these white races and tell them, see, I told you so. So they are supporting him. Even though he's a loser, they don't want to hear me come back and say, I told you not to vote for him in the first place. That's why his popularity rating is still high. But a large part of the African-American community also voted for him. Yeah, they did. Ninety-seven percent, not a large part, the African-American community voted for Obama. They're not happy with him. Now, check out people like Dr. Cornel West, Lonnie Guineer, even Al Sharpton, and uh, a number of other people who feel that Obama really has, has, has disrespected the black community big time. He just don't care. He has disrespected black people to the nth degree. How? Black people expected Obama, first of all, to demonstrate some sort of allegiance to black people, some sort of allegiance to the struggle of black people, to reference that, to make it a part, as much as he's trying to get the world to uh, destroy its nuclear war piles or stockpiles, uh, Obama could be about the business of going into the black community and looking at and talking about and dealing with its problems uh, in a major way, since he's got such a major and mega bully pulpit. He's done absolutely none of that. One of the hopes that the new administration brought about with it was that America's image would change abroad. Do you see that change? In a negative way, I think that Obama is trying to say that we're an awful nation and that we, we're, we're such warmongering people and that we're greedy and that we are oppressors of other nations. And on and on the litany of, uh, of hating America he has spewed, which is absolutely wrong. This is the greatest nation it ever was. Well, if you're so unhappy with him, who would you rather see be the president of the United States? Of course, you're not biblical, and a lot of people think that somehow or another that I'm foolish for thinking, but my Bible tells me and my Savior Jesus tells me that one such as Obama would come. I believe the Word of God. I don't know what other people believe. Maybe you believe Rasputin. I don't know. But I believe the Word of God. The Word of God tells me that the devil will send one as powerful as Obama. So it's not a matter of my being happy or unhappy with him. He is pure, unadulterated evil and must be moved from the grips of the world power that he now holds.